Republican leaders have said they would, for the most part, stay away from passing any tax legislation this session. Yeah, however, the Senate Tax Committee says they might make an exception for a child care tax credit bill because the situation is that dire. Hannah Adamson has this story. We don't have enough child care available to grow. Andrew Berger with the Indiana Manufacturers Association says there are 99,000 job openings in the state. 20,000 of which are in manufacturing. Certainly the surveys that we as the IMA do shows child care at the top of the list of reasons that employers hear about why people can't take a job. State Senator Linda Rogers says under her new bill, for-profit businesses that offer on-site child care could receive a partial property tax exemption. The facilities that are doing that today, it's expensive for them. It certainly is not a profit center for them. We've used Senate Bill 140 it's just one more lever we can pull um, to encourage more providers to come into the market and offer um, child care options. But State Senator Fadi Kadura says he's concerned the bill is too broad. The drafting of the bill does not include specific parameters to target these investments or tax credits towards communities where they have child care deserts. Senator Kadura also says these property tax credits mean less money for schools and local government. At a time when our citizens are are struggling with extremely high property tax bills, I believe it's the wrong policy to be adding more burden to the property taxpayers across the state to fund the expansion of child care. The property tax credit bill still has a long way to go. I'm told a date for a second reading has yet to be scheduled. Reporting from the State House, I'm Hannah Adamson.